lecture we have seen the example of future value of entities that how you can calculate the future value and we have seen the long cut method right so we have seen that how time consuming is long cut method and with the help of formula what you can do you can calculate future value in fraction of seconds so we will do some more examples on future value of annuity so it will give you more clarity right so here we will see this example here it is given suppose that you typically spend about dollar 8 a day on lunch while at work today you have instead decided to save dollar 8 a day for a period of 10 years right assume the following you can earn 30 uh, 3% compounded daily right it means annually you can earn 3% interest and this interest going to be compounded daily right now here a simple ordinary annuity where even on holidays and weekend you still spend this amount per week on food so here you will be getting interest for 365 days right here question says you will be getting interest for 65 days in given case right now i will uh, make you understand the question that what question is trying to say here what you do every day you spend 8 rupees 8 dollar on your lunch right so instead of what you have decided instead of uh, eating lunch what you will do you will invest this 8 dollar every day in somewhere right and on 10% in uh, 3% interest in a year which is going to be compounded day, right so hopefully you got the question 8 rupees daily you will be investing on first day you will be investing 8 rupees second day you will be investing 8 rupees and yearly interest rate is given 3% which is going to be compounded day, right and you will be investing this money for 10 years now what return you will be getting what will be your value of your investment after 10 years right so we have to learn this concept right so we will see that variables are given in this question and we will solve this equation okay so if i talk about pmt is investment so pmt is minus 8 for a day right now if i talk about frequency what will be the frequency of investment so definitely you will say frequency of investment is going to be 365 in a year right now you will be investing this amount for 10 years right you will be investing this amount for 10 years so what will be the total frequency that is going to be nper so you will say that it is going to be 365 into 10 years right so it is going to be 3650 right so npr is going to be 3650 now if i talk about interest rate what interest rate bank or any investment uh, company is offering you they are offering you 3% interest right so this is an interest and you are investing your amount daily so you have to find out effective interest right so effective interest is going that is effective interest of one day interest if i write down day interest if i write down so your one day interest is going to be 3% divided by 365 this is going to be your rate right this is going to be your rate This divided by three sixty five. Let me change the value here. Yeah, now it is correct. So it is going to be you will be getting interest daily. That is point zero 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 eight two one nine. You can say point zero 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 eight two point one nine percent. So I will convert this value into percentage. So how much interest you will be getting here? You will be getting interest. That is point zero zero eight two two percent every day. Right now, if I want to calculate future value, so future value investment is going to be that is future value open up the bracket rate is 0.00822% then npr you will be investing 8 rupees daily sorry npr is number of period that is 3650 i'm sorry pmt how much you will be investing 8 rupees daily you will be investing p is 0 and if nothing is given so we can take end of the period if you are assuming that you will getting interest from day one so you can assume uh beginning of the period so i will take zero here and i will press it. and what will be the value of my investment it is going to be 34051 dollar rupees here i have not mentioned dollar so that is the reason it shows value in rupees right your investment value is going to be 34051 rupees right so we will be solving multiple cases more in coming lecture so stay tuned with with us thank you